Hello everyone. In the previous video, we explored how to create a new service portal in ServiceNow and apply a theme to align with the organization's branding. In this video, let's explore how to create a page inside the service portal. A portal is essentially a collection of multiple pages and these pages are connected through their page IDs. In ServiceNow, there are two common ways to create a page. One directly from the platform, two from the service portal configuration page, also known as spconfig homepage. Let's look at both methods step by step. Method 1. Create a page from the spconfig homepage. Click on the designer tile. This displays all the existing pages within the portal. Click on add a new page. Provide a meaningful title for the page. Page ID will be automatically generated. Click on submit. Finally, select the portal where this page should be available. Now let's look into how to design this page. Once the page is created, the next step is to design the page layout and add content. In ServiceNow, a page layout is built using containers, rows and columns. A container can have multiple rows. A row can have multiple columns. Rows with different column layouts can be dragged and dropped inside a container. Now I am adding a 12 column to the container. You can view a edit icon here at the top right. Clicking on it allows configuration properties like style, class and save the changes. To delete any column or row, simply click on the delete icon. Let me add few more containers and add columns to it. Adding 12 column layout and another container with 6 6 column. Once the columns are added, the page layout is ready. The next step is to add widgets inside these columns to display the content. An important point to note is there is no need to manually save the page. Service now automatically saves it. Let me add few widgets to it. When you click on the preview, it will display the widget here. You can view the content. Let's move on to second method that is creating a page from the platform. Navigate to all and search for service port. Search for pages and click on it. Click on new. Now fill in the fields like title, page ID and select the portal and click on submit. That's it. The page is created. Let's see how to style the page. Let me add one more widget called request. You can see the output. Now let's make the background color to the green. Select the row and click on the edit icon. Then give the class name as demo and save it. Go to the page and, and style here. and I am saving it. You can view that the background color of the row changed to green. Finally, learn how to hide a container for mobile view. Add another widget. You can view all the KB articles here. I don't want this to be displayed for the mobile view. Let's see how to do it. Select the container and click on edit icon. You can view the parent class field here. Here add hidden in access. Hide the container in the smaller devices and save the changes. You can see that only my approvals and my requests are visible in the portal. And that's how a page can be created in ServiceNow service portal. 
design the layout, add content using widgets, apply styling and control visibility based on device types. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like the video, share it with others, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel for more service now learning videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.